Hi, I'm Dumble Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be checking out Chris Hine Horn's solos and sections. Chris Hine Horn's Pro Sections and Solos is a dedicated collection of sample libraries for creating jazz, pop, big band, and funk music. The developer offers free downloads of the real-time controller for iPhone and iPad using Touch OSC. And the library is VST's current buzz deal of the week, 66% off, currently selling for the sale price of 169 euro normally would sell for about 500 euros. In this video here, we're just gonna dive in and uh, check out what the libraries sound like, all the different functionalities and sounds. Hey guys, so I've got a copy of this new VST Buzz deal, the Chris Hine Horn Solo and Sections. Got a few emails asking if I could do a first look. Um, basically, it is it is a collection of solo and section instruments, and it's been created by Chris Hine who's done some great sample libraries uh, with a focus on jazz, pop, big band, and funk. It's got uh, several solo instruments um, of you got flutes and some saxes and a trumpet, trombones, and then you've got uh, sections, so alto section, tenor section, baritone section, and then trumpets, and then uh, two tenor uh, trombone and bass trombone sections. So I'm just going to dig in. This deal's going on for just a little over a week. Uh, left on it normally sells for about 500 euros it's on sale for 169 euro at vst buzz i'll be sure to include a link in the description below be sure to take you straight over to this deals page here so let's go ahead and head over to what we get these are contact player instruments so you get two contact player instruments of the Chris Hyde and Horns. Um, you've got some of the solo instruments in the Chris Hyde Pro Volume 1, and then you've got a combination of solo and section instruments in the Chris Hyde Pro 2. Uh, the, one of the things I noticed is they've got a manual built in, so everything you kind of need to know as to how to use the instrument is set up right here uh, anytime you had a question about it. And you're able to go through the different pages and just click on here. So if I get lost, I'm going to use those long way. Let's just jump in and I'm going to listen to some of this stuff. Let's go to tenor sax. I'm a big tenor sax fan. And uh, let's go to the main. So we've got... Uh, articulation overview looks like we got phrases I didn't expect this many phrases that whole blue key section And then we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five kinds of sustains. So with these sustains, I know that there's legatos, uh, and I think we could turn that on right here. So yeah, and it looks like we get uh, the ability to change our legato presets right here on the front of the interface, the main section, as well as this legato area uh, right here. Uh -huh. 
So you can hear that's got a longer uh, fade in time. <laughs> One thing I do like a lot about this sample set right off the bat is the uh, that spittle sound that you do retain in the sax makes it sound more realistic. Let's go back to these uh, articulation overview. I'm just gonna play through some of these articulations. That's nice. And it looks like we got um, just about everything in the instruments is already mapped to a MIDI CC, which makes it really convenient. Uh, if you're using Lemur like I do with a controller or touch OSC um, or whatever kind of CC controls you have. Let's jump ahead and let's listen to uh, just one of the sections. Let's listen to the baritone sections. That's going to be fun. Okay. We've got an overview. Again, four different sustains here, starting at A. Yeah, even with those really soft notes, you get great um, uh, air and, and spittle. and mediums, crescendos, and falls. Yeah, these flutters are nice, too. Now, notice here the uh, short crescendos are here at E1, where the other crescendos are grouped there. I might just move this here. And then that way I've got them all grouped together. That's one thing I do like about layout of the instrument as well. Um, let's play the last couple. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's listen to uh, the solo trumpet. If I was going to criticize the instrument, I'd say I'm not a, bit of a big fan of jumping between panel sizes. It just confuses me. Uh, maybe it's a personal thing. I don't know. Oh, that's a nice tone. One thing I didn't do is play with any of the uh, velocity fade um, with the combination of the different dynamic layers and the velocity fade, you could get some nice stuff. That's pretty high. Let's take a look at the uh, legatos. Let's just turn the legato mode on. One 
One thing I do like about this legato sound is just with this one key switch right now, the sustain and legato, I can um, jump between playing uh, somewhat realistic legato and staccato. without really having to do anything. So that's nice. The only thing I'm wondering is, is there a mute? Let's hear the growl. That's nice, and a shake. That's a little tough, uh, but if you, if you program it right, I think you can pull it off. Let's listen to the full section of saxophones. And let's see what our, okay, there we go. That's nice, just right out of the gate. I think this is my favorite patch so far. It's got a great sound. You could, it's really playable. And that's just one of the sustains. I'm just playing through key switches now. Yeah, I like what uh, the full section sound like. Um, so let's check out uh, another section. Let's check out the space trombone sections. Let's see, same. Looks like a consistent with uh, several different articulations, you know. These are, let's start with sustains. Nice buzz. Yeah, it's got a good tone to it. Uh, just three uh, recordings of three um, bass trombones, from what I remember. Let's go up here and listen to the trumpet section. A good sound. Let's hear. Uh, let's hear the legato turned on for this. If we turn it back to poly, we could do some kind of chord. Cool. 
Some nice, soft articulations, or dynamics too. <laughs> Solo flute. Let's listen to this one. But to see if we have phrases, we got effects. <laughs> That's cool. I wasn't expecting these. And we have grooves. Let's listen to some of these. Okay, I'm loving these. I have to see if these are uh, tempo synced. <laughs> they're not, and I don't know if there's a setting to tempo sync them. So. Uh, moving along. Okay, let's listen to that because that'll that would naturally have some vibrato. Or at least a player would do that. Yeah, I think you get some good performance out of that. You get several sustains. Oh, sing sustain. I'm loving this one. You might, I think you get a lot out of this. The only thing I do want to listen to here is some of the, uh, with the, the legato turned on here. Responds like a real flute, super blasty, and cutting through at the high end. Um, so, uh, there's a different section here, but let's go into these solo instruments. Let's listen to these Barry Sax um, solo instruments. I'm a big fan of the sound of the Barry Sax. And let's see our overview. Uh, no phrases. So some of these sustains have a little more bite. these runs it's 
got a pretty good sound. And there's two of them. There's a A and B. I'm not sure what the difference is. Let's just see. Maybe it's just different players for different uh, timbre. Yeah, it's just a different horn. Listen to any alto saxes. Let's at least just get a, a taste of it. Here we go. And there's no. Uh, just listen to the sustains. Yeah, different kinds of blowing, and you get a different uh, timbre for your attack, mostly. Yeah. I think um, I'm really pleased with this uh, collection. I have to be honest, I was a, a, a little reserved. Uh, I heard some of the demos and some of it, it didn't quite pull off the realism that I would really hope for, but I can hear the quality of the recordings, the depth of articulation and all of the controls that Chris Hine has taken the time to implement in the instrument, um, as well as the functionality. Uh, having all of these MIDI CCs pre-routed consistently across all the instruments, that makes for a dream uh, for someone like myself that loves to have a predetermined MIDI CC map ready for a certain set of instruments, and this will do the job. I think you will be able to get a lot of use out of this for funk, uh, jazz and some um, a more uh, big bandy, especially you know if you're using this inside an ensemble. Some of these solos instruments you'll be able to to pull off. There's a few things you'll have to dodge, um, which with all sample library sample libraries, you kind of have to uh, know what a real instrument sounds like before you can get a virtual instrument to sound real because you want to avoid the pitfalls of the parts that don't have the most realistic expression in them. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. We always love your support. And be sure to use Sample Library Reviews a link here in the description below. It'll take you straight over the deals page. Uh, developers knows where traffic comes from, and by using our links on the website and our video links, that helps us continue to create content like this for you.